Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Scenes. Thanks so much for joining me again for another video. This is going to be a short and sweet video about the few bits and bobs that I'd like to get made up in March. So first of all, thank you so much to everybody who's watched any of my previous videos and um, left a comment. It really, really does mean an awful lot. So thank you very much. So I've just got a few little bits and pieces from March because um, if you watch my previous video, I did mention that I'm taking part in So Frugal 22 this year, which is very, very exciting. So my video is going to be coming out on the 18th of March, where I'll be sharing um, a few of my ideas and plans. So I don't want to put too much into my regular plans video, as it were, because I'll also be making stuff for that challenge, which is really, really exciting. And I've been trying to keep up with everybody else's videos um, daily, and they've been really, really great. So um, I'll put a few links below um, if you don't know about that challenge but I will be going into more detail um, on the 18th of March so stay tuned. So I'll start with what I'm wearing and this is my Jarrah sweatshirt Megan Nielsen that I made up in February in this beautiful um, teal jacquard fabric from Beyond the Pink Door and it has a little tie front and I go into a little bit more detail on my um, February makes video about how I did that tie so if you're interested have a little look at that. So yeah really really enjoying making this I think it's such a nice jumper. So um, I'll get started with my March plans, shall I? So the first thing is going to be um, a slight repeat, but with a slight difference. So I loved making the Made It Patterns hug hoodie. So I'll pop in a picture here. So I made that um, in January, I believe, and I really, really enjoyed making that. So I would like to have a go at making the crew neck version, which is identical, except doesn't have a hood. It just has a band like this one. So for that, um, I have two beautiful fabrics which are these, how gorgeous are these? So the main fabric is a lovely French cherry and this is from a new to me fabric company called um, Love Fabrics Ireland. I think they're lovefabric.ie, I'll link them below. So they have a beautiful website, gorgeous fabric. I did buy um, a few other bits and pieces, which I'll be showing uh, in future videos, but this is just a very, very nice um, quality French terry and it's the, the brush back on the back. So it's lovely and snuggly on the inside. So it's just um, a beautiful quality uh, French terry fabric. So I think this would look really nice as the main fabric. And then to contrast with that, I have this little rainbow fabric. So this is a rainbow cotton jersey from Crafty Studio. So I think it's beautiful little colors here. And I I think the two of these together would match really really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, the French terry as the main bodice and then I'm going to use the rainbow as the the little band and um, the hem band with the little um, hug part we'll call it and then I'm not quite sure yet whether I'll use this for the cuffs and the neckband or whether I'll just use the navy fabric or see if I have some navy ribbing somewhere knocking around so we'll see but I just think these would make a really really fun um fun jumper together and I will be doing the neck binding so as I mentioned before um I'll do a little not a tutorial but I'll run you through how I do the neck binding because I know a lot of you are interested and it does give a really really nice finish so I'll see if I can find some nice fabric to do that as well so yeah really looking forward to getting starting on that the um the hug hoodie it's a really really nice pattern and really straightforward to make but just looks really really effective so i make the size 12 which matches my measurements and i add two inches to the bodice which i made the last time which worked out really really well um and the pattern is layered you, you notice me mentioning this now an awful lot and it does show which pages to print based on the hoodie or based on the crew neck which i find really really useful so yeah i'm all about the layered patterns these days yeah i'll be talking about them quite a lot i think it just highlights the patterns that don't have layers so yes this is going to be making number one so I think that'll be a, um, a quick little make because I have made that before and I know the sizing and I know that it's a really really cute jumper so looking forward to making up that one. Next up is slightly outside my comfort zone but um, on Valentine's Day the lovely Steph from Fabric Romance um, put up that she was doing a bra kit and if you watch my February makes video you know that I made a little cami and a little pair of um, kind of knicker shorts things and I wasn't fully sewn so <laughs> sold on the on the knickers aspect but I was kind of taken by the fold over elastic and maybe pico elastic and um and knowing how to attach those kind of things and knowing the intricacies of making bras so when I saw the kits come online I was like mm, yeah I think I might need to give that a go so I bought the one called blue steel which I really liked and it is this little kit here so what you get is you get a little bit of mesh for the lining you get the most beautiful piece of lace stretch lace so in this beautiful color um gorgeous little flare pattern to it you also get a piece of bamboo jersey i've never worked with bamboo jersey before but it's absolutely beautiful so it's so lovely and drapey in this beautiful um think kind of a denim color so that's really really nice these are all washed and ready to go then also you get lovely blue pico elastic 
and then um, a little bit of this elastic and this elastic which is the fold over elastic. This is the fold over elastic. So I'm really going to have to learn how to do all these, but I just thought they looked really, really nice. And then you also get, apologies, noise. You get these little rings for the bra straps and the little clasps. And then also this little Yoki Bob for the back. So you get everything you need really, which is great because if I had gone sourcing these, I wouldn't have known where to start. So the pattern isn't included in the kit, um, but Steph does have two recommendations. And one of the recommendations was the Darcy bra from Evie Le Louvre. So I had a quick look and I found her pattern on Etsy. So I bought it and this is it. So I'll pop in proper pictures here. So it comes in, I think five styles and I was quite taken by style four, which has a little lacy bits, which I think looks really, really nice. So I'm going to give that a go. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, um, everything comes in the kit, which is absolutely brilliant. So I think I have everything I need here. I've printed off the little pattern pieces, not layered, but never mind because they're tiny. Um, it does say it comes in cup sizes. Now the measurements, it just gives um, whatever it is, small, medium, large. Um, I'll put the sizing here. So my size, I fall into a medium, but it literally just has your bust measurements. I was expecting it to do maybe high bust, um, low, low bust under bust, whatever it is, um, and full bust to kind of gauge the cup, but it doesn't. It just literally gives your bust measurement. So we'll have to see how that comes out. I might have to do a little trial and see, um, because I'm just not quite sure how that works. Like I'm a, I'm a 36 bust, but, um, that's basically all back. <laughs> so my high bust, I think is 35. <laughs> so it'd be very interesting to see how this fits. Apologies for oversharing. Um, so I think the lace would be really, really nice to work with. I've never worked with lace. I've never worked with stretch lace. That'll be a nice, um, a nice idea. I'm quite looking forward to starting this. So this, yeah, this is completely out of my comfort zone, but I will hopefully report back with success. So yeah, that's make number two. So I follow Lauren from Guthrie and Ganny, as I'm sure most of you do on Instagram. And she recently had been wearing this blouse, which was absolutely beautiful. And it's the Fibre Mood Honey Blouse. So I'll pop in a picture here. And I just thought it was so beautiful. So yes, I went and bought it. And um, I have made one Fibre Mood pattern before last summer. I made the uh, Lola top. I'll pop in a picture here. And once you kind of get to grips on how fibre mood work, um, it was relatively straightforward. So I have sent away for the pattern to be um, A0 printed, total luxury. So um, Anne-Marie in the Crafty Studio does a great um, service with that. And because I bought the PDF pattern, you get an A0 with seam allowance or one without. So definitely I sent away the, the one with seam allowance. You couldn't be dealing without seam allowance. And um, it is also layered, which is great. So it looks like such a nice pattern. So. The, it's um, a lovely blouse. It has beautiful gathered cuff details. What I think I'll do, I won't gather the cuffs into a little um, cuff band with a little tie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the cuff slightly bigger and I'm just going to put elastic in there. Because the cuffs in this, I think are, they're not even braced. I think they're almost shorter than braced length. I think they're just going to be too short on me and I really like being able to pull up my sleeves. So I'm going to put elastic in the cuff instead. I am still going to do the little tie detail on the cuff. I think that looks really, really nice. So I'm going to make quite a difference to the quite a change I should say to the sleeve. I'm also not going to insert the sleeve placket because I don't think you need it if I'm just doing elastic. Um, it's got a beautiful collar detail with a little frill all around the collar which looks really really sweet. It does come with an option to do a ruffle on the button placket but I'm going to leave that off. I'm just going to do the, the regular button placket and it's got beautiful gathering at the back so I just think it's a really really pretty pattern. Um, I think I will lengthen it as well and um, I think it does come up quite cropped so I'll lengthen it ever so slightly. And I think I've worked out all my sizing. It comes in centimetres, which just melts my brain. So I've done the conversion and yeah, I think I'm going to do a size 12. So hopefully it's meant to be a boxy style top, but hopefully that will fit my measurements anyway. We'll see how that goes. Um, so the instructions on Fibre Mood can be a little bit tricky, but there are quite good diagrams. And um, so hopefully I'll get on okay with that. I have made a shirt like this before. I've made the grain line archer and I've made the closet core Cali. I hope I've got that the right way around. So I have made a few shirts before with the yoke and with um, a placket and with a, a collar, collar stand. So hopefully I should be okay. She said, hopefully. Um, so the fabric that I chose for this, I got from Crafty Studio and it is beautiful. It is this white um, fabric with little silver dashes in it. I think it actually goes that way with the, yeah, like little raindrops. This is a viscose chalet, which I've never worked with before. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The weight and the, the texture of it and the drape, I think is absolutely gorgeous. And the little shine on the, 
the little raindrops is just gorgeous so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this this sews up it's just so pretty I think this would look really really nice in a little fibre mood honey blouse or little bells and whistles and the frills to it and to go with that I have a few little um glittery buttons so I thought they'd look very very cute with this lovely fabric so yeah really looking forward to getting this go going I think this will be slightly um a slightly involved make so I will have to take my time with this so we'll see how much I get done in March but yeah I thought this look really really nice so yeah can't wait to get this started so thank you Lauren for your um inspiration because that shirt is absolutely gorgeous it's so pretty I think she wears it she has it in a I think it's a fabric godmother fabric with a heart animal print and stuff oh it's absolutely beautiful so yeah totally inspired by that so the last little fun make I would like to do um is and I'll see we'll see will I get it done I just want to make a few little Easter cushions so I found these online and uh, the little templates um I've forgotten who they were I'll put the name here but there's little chicks and there's little bunnies and I think they're really cute and I have a stash of I'll just grab them a stash of fleece fabric that I bought from the fabric counter in Dublin I think I have another colour knocking around as well so I just love making cushion covers and anything kind of seasonally appropriate for the house so I think these would look really cute and just a really quick fun make I might be able to use the applique function on my new sewing machine which would be quite exciting and yeah I just think they'd look really really cute as little fest are they festive for Easter seasonal we'll call it little um cushion cover so I think that'd be really really cute so yes I do have quite a lot going on here so we'll see how we, we get on I'll also have my so frugal makes which I'm very very excited about so I won't reveal any more of that you'll have to watch my video on the 18th of March so that's everything I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you'd have any questions or if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so below. I'd love that. You know how much I love having the chats. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe and I will see you all again very, very soon. Take care. Bye.